Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Makina Auto Setups where basically kukotay ng kotse tapos isa setup natin ito. I mean to the best of what we can do, right? So this time we have a Porsche Cayman S987. New full numbers niya po would be 987-120. So the S, yung suffix nito stands for sport or special which means it's a higher performing 987. So this first got launched in 2005 in the Frankfurt show. By 2006, it was out in the market already. We can see a lot of the influence, um, well, design-wise, coming from classic Porsches, yung 356.1, the uh, 550 Coupe, and the 904 Coupe as well. So the 987 Cayman S uses the M97.20 and the M97.21 engines. Yun ang gamit ng makina. Some of you guys are thinking, na, but ganon, parang from the Suzuki Espresso, you jump to the Porsche. And it's like, it doesn't make sense, you know? There's no rhyme or reason. We're just doing it because we feel like it. <laughs> parang ganon na lang yare. Oh, yeah, just a quick thing about the Suzuki Espresso, because I recently just sold that. I used it for about two months. Tinakbo niya mga 1,900, I think. A lot of people messaged. Makina Auto and said, well, why are you selling your Espresso? Any issues? There's absolutely nothing wrong with the Suzuki Espresso. I sold it because I had to get another car, which is this one. So story goes, I've been on the hunt for a sports car the past couple of months. And ang pinaka non-negotiable ko, kailangan yung sports car manual. Muntik na, close call na yung Subaru BRZ. Deal breaker lang talaga kasi ano siya matik. So that deal didn't push through. So I saw a second-hand Porsche, Cayman S, tapos manual pa. So that totally picked my interest. So I met up with the guy who was selling it. His name's Ian. He is a car dealer. Super nice guy. It took us a day to sort things out. And I ended up with a 2009 Cayman S. So, ang price range ng Cayman S medyo ligaw as Porsches go because when we're talking about manual transmission, that's a very subjective topic. I mean, some people just don't care about manual. Yung mga super enthusiasts naman, they are for manual. So, apparently, lumalabas may mga Matic na Cayman na mas mura and then mas mahal lumalabas yung manual. You can get a, a Matic for around under 3 million. If you're going for some of the manual Cayman S's, you can go below 4 million to a high of below 5 million depende sa condition. Porsches hold their own in terms of value so depende na sa yon. So some issues of the bad, I mean it is a second hand car, I was already expecting some issues. So meron tayong mga paint chips because of the design of the Porsche, you're getting a lot of tapes ng pintura sa hood. Especially if you're going on a run, may mga kasunod ka, nagtatalsigan yung mga bato, diba? Fortunately, wala po siyang dent and I'm very particular with dents. I don't like dents in cars. I saw some slight wears uh, inside niya, mga konting tapes dito sa mga panels. But it's not enough na matuturn off ka, diba? Yung leather seats niya, good condition pa rin siya considering its age. Meron tayong issue with the engine check because as you can hear, full exhaust style with the car. So if you're full exhaust, it's all open. Your mixture tends to become rich. And therefore, that's gonna trigger the sensor here. But what's awesome is, is Ian gave me this. Now this is um, a gadget diagnostic tool so that I can reset that engine light if it's bothering me. And it can check me exactly what's going on with it. And then each time I plug this in, I see it's really the sensor for the mixture. Nagkaroon din tayo ng mga electrical, some intermittent window issues. Minsan tumatas, minsan hindi. So hahanapin mo yung sweet spot niya. Bakit ganun? I think it's a cleaning thing kasi may contact pa eh. I have some issues with the mirrors. Depende sa load ng baterya. As I have discovered recently, pag super kargado ng baterya, if you've been using it for a while at na-recharge na yung battery, yung mirrors mo gumagana, no problem. Which tells me I gotta change the batteries. <laughs> yung gulong niya medyo pudpud na. The previous owner, 
did tell me na mahilig siya mag-run. You know, I really enjoyed this car, which I appreciate. Ginagamit siya for what it's built for, right? So, we're gonna take care of that too. Sa gauge naman niya, meron tayong mga dead pixels. So, I needed to get that thing sorted out. I get really OC with the gauge. I want that thing looking perfect. There's also a quirk on the door lock. May lakit siya ng konti. So, there's a way on how you gotta open it or else you're gonna go to the other side. <laughs> Wag lang makina ang sira, di ba? So, first order of business here in Makina Auto Setups. Service agad, di ba? What we're gonna do is go for an oil change. And we are going to the Motul flagship to get our oil change done. I wanted to go to a shop that understands these cars. A shop na I heard will not break the bank. Na medyo decente yung presyo and fair and maayos yung lugar. Malinis, malaki. I ended up with the Motul flagship. So the guys running the shop, uh, they're all car guys. Diba? They're all car nuts. There was that uh, level of confidence going in there. Now, of course, for oil change, well, Motul is Motul. <laughs> and I heard kung meron kang konting sira here and there, mechanically, kahit ang mga tao nila dyan sa Motul flagship. So, taking a look at what we have under... Yan! This is what's under our Porsche. Really good! It's in good shape. Maayos ang pang ilalim natin. No? Malinis ang pang ilalim. Press kong press kayo lang isa. Dan 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 dan. So as you can see, BMW, GM, MB, approval, Porsche, Renault, Euro. Euro siya. Ano advantage natin sa 81X screen dyan? I mean, ano yung technology niya ngayon? Pinagayabang ng moto. Bakit yan? OEM spec siya, sir. Tapos doon, uh, may kasama na siyang ano, cleaning detergent. Ah, so maayos din siya maglinis. Yes. There, of course, moto performance yes. tayo. Uh, suggestion mo with that type of car, 5W40, yes, no? Yes, 5W40, sir. Uh, anong opinion mo sa zero? Masyadong manipis, sir, ang zero. Okay. Kaya yung 5, uh, good lang sa ano natin, sir. Tsaka approve naman sa inyo, kayo specialist. Thank you so much, Bennett. Thank you, sir. Maraming salamat. Okay, so surprise, surprise. And uh, since nabuksan naman nila dito sa Motul Alliance, their flagship, we also discovered na yung intake o sa power steering. May konting sir, may konting tagas. We're in this part of Quezon City, Banawe, tawid lang maraming pagagawan. So we're gonna get that sorted out as well. Apart from the oil change and changing of the filter, naayos na rin dito yung bintana, that bintana issue. And we also got to fix the door handle issue. Kasi apparently, sa series na to, sa 987, the door handle, minsan yung bracket doon nababali kasi medyo marupok through time, depending on what country you're in. So, tinamaan ako doon sa left side door. Na ang kagandahan sa Porsche, if you wanna use it on this side, kailangan manufacturing-wise, magagamit mo rin on the right side without having to make a new mold. We were trying to glue it and everything, this is not working. So, then, this guy, very smart guy, sabi niya, you know, Zach, let's take a look at the other door and let's see if this is a mirror image, we're just gonna switch it. So, ginawa nila, kung ito yung bracket, there are two parts, right? Itong top part na yung gagamitin. Yung bottom part, babalik tarin mo lang para gamitin sa isang pintuan. So, dito sa bracket na to, ito yung nabali. So, ginawa nila, kinuha nila yung ayos dito sa kanan, binaliktad nila, kinabit nila dito. And since binaliktad nila dito, yung hindi ginagamit originally dito, at ayos na sa tapang ilalim, nilipat naman nila doon. So, Problem solved. My door handle issues done. Plus points ako doon sa Motul flagship because they figured it out. They're pretty smart. Diba? Pinag-isipan nila. Yung mga gusto kong mekaniko, nag-iisip. Diba? May halong MacGyver and they figured it out and they fixed it. So, thank you so much to the guys in Motul flagship for, for sorting that out. Good job guys over here at Motul flagship. Galing. So, yung cost ko sa Motul flagship, day one, kasama na dyan yung change oil, yung ating pagpalit ng air filter, looking over the whole car, yung mga palit dito, palit doon, ayos dito, ayos doon, and pagpalit ng hose na may tagas sa power steering, everything all in was about 22,000 pesos. So, not bad. Tapos, sa aking exhaust, meron ako narinig na parang bakal to bakal na kalansing, parang tik 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 sa alam mo nang revving. So, apparently doon sa exhaust natin, meron na uh, kailangan ihinang doon. It was right where the sensor was, so meron din akong singaw doon, which could probably explain kung bakit ako may engine light din. Pumunta ako sa Evangelista, doon ko naman pina-welding yung kumalas na bracket at kung saan may singaw. So, right now, we're in uh, Banados. It's my go-to place para sa mga muffler natin. Dito. Yan. Yan yung sensor. It's that little hook there. Yan ang hihinangin nila. So obviously may singaw. So that's gonna hold. That's, that should solve it. So they sorted that out and that cost me 700 pesos. Bawal magbigay ng tip na po. Bawal po. So atin-atin na lang to ha. <laughs> so next stop naman was the exterior. Yung pintura. Ano, ano gagawin natin dito? Kasi 
95% of the car is still original paint. Yung bumper lang yung napansin kong may retouch yung harap. But everything else is still original at pinuna ko yun. Sayang naman because the idea is, you know, you're only original once. Diba? Ang custom, madali na yan eh. Anytime you can get into custom. So, I was not willing to go for a repaint. So, ang solution dyan, Parap natin. My go-to place for this, I had a very good experience with Second Skin. Sila po yung tumira ng Yamaha Fazio. Last year, I don't know if you remember that. Nor the gray yung nilagyan natin doon. To this day, it's fine. I always use that scoot and parang bago pa rin yung wrap. So for the first sports car to come out in Makina, ang instinct ko is to go to Second Skin. Because nun nga, nung dumalaw ako doon before, wala na ako nakita doon sa shop nila kundi puro sports car. McLaren, we got a Ferrari, Porsche, Ferrari. Made sense. Okay, naka-Porsche tayo. Sina Archie babanat niyan. We sat down, we talked about it, they looked at the car, they made recommendations dun sa stone chips. To compromise with stone chips kasi lulubog yung wrap pag pinatungan nyo. It's either masilihan or what. But I trusted them. Sabi ko, bahal na kayo dyan. Okay, so here's our swatch. Yes. Uh, Perfect. Gray. This is Dolphin Gray from Inositec. Uh, okay. Also. So this is PPF na may kulay. Yes. Tama yes. ba? Dynamic PPF. Dynamic PPF. Dynamic. How is PPF different from your regular wrap? PPF natin has its healing capabilities. Ah, okay, okay. So compared to the vinyls like that one, once scratch like swirl marks, uh, light scratches, it won't go away by heat. So ah, okay. It will remain. Ah, so okay. It needs to be polished. Ito, and, ito self healing. Yes. So we're trying to imagine. Ganyan sa lahat. <laughs> so that's the sample explain to me the process. So it's gonna take them seven days to sort this out. And in typical second skin fashion, talagang baklas lahat. Nakakatawa pag baklas lahat, nung mo na makikita yung mga ibang problema din sa sasakyan, di ba? Thankfully, confirmed naman na wala nga dents yung, yung sasakyan. Confirmed nga na original paint pa siya dahil walang masilya sa ilalim, walang palo and all of that. So, nakakatawa. You, get, you can either discover that it is in pristine condition or may mga tinagong mga makeup dito here and there. So, wala naman. The total cost for the PPF na Inositec, itong, itong particular PPF na ito, with, with color, is 250,000 pesos. Now, before you guys raise your eyebrows, in fact, for you na nakataas na yung kilay, babaan nyo muna konti. <laughs> if we're talking about this level ng kotse, you're talking about Porsches, talking about Lamborghinis, you're talking about Ferraris, more on the rare, more on the enthusiast side of things na sa auto industry, you are going to try to do whatever you can to try to protect the car. Why? Because, Unlike yung mga daily commuter Japanese cars na nandyan, I'm not shooting them down or anything like that. I'm just stating the reality. Yung value po nila, hindi pareho sa pag-retain ng mga ibang exotic cars. Porsches are going up and up and up. Like the 911 from the 90s, naalala ko meron pa ma pwede makuha ng mga 3 million form. Ngayon, a, it's at 14 million pesos. Iba up to 18 million pesos. That said, at the price that you're looking at, 250, to try to preserve it, knowing that yung kochi mo is gonna hold its value, it makes sense. So another thing na ginawa natin apart from sorting out the exterior, ang kagandaan sa second skin, meron din silang powder coating facility. Again, kagaya dun sa nangyari sa Espresso, which is gray and white wheels. Yung ating Jimny which is gray and white wheels. Uh, sabi ko sa sarili ko, dapat yung Porsche natin gray and white wheels then So, immediately they came in and said, Zach, don't have that repainted. Powder coat natin yan. Those are mags. Eh. Sabi ko, ah, okay, sige, game. And uh, bakit ko pinapowder coat yung Vorsteiner mags natin, which is, by the way, is already in the $6,000 range. Una-una kasi may tama na yung lip niya. Mayroon siyang chip na nakakainis, na nakaka-OC. The rest of the mags are okay. And for me, that kind of justifies it. Sige, powder coat niyan. So, nirepair din nila second skin yon Yung chip na yon they were able to build it up again. Tapos, binanata nila ng powder coat. The color that we went for here is a bit of the off-white cream and bumagay siya. And again, typical second skin fashion, the work was impeccable. Cost naman ng gulong natin is 25,000 pesos kasama ng repairs. So another thing that I truly, truly like and appreciate about Second Skin is the fact that they go beyond their core business which is wrapping cars to help the customer. Kasi at this point in time, lumabas na yung ibang sira ng auto. We're talking about an AC unit na nag-short circuit. Meron tayong rewiring involved ng AC pressure switch. Meron tayong PSM failure. Rear right speed sensor, kailangan palitan. Steering angle sensor, kailangan i-calibrate. Speed sensor line na na-short, kailangan nila i-rewire. The vehicle electrical system sa harap, short circuit and then so they have to sort that out. Tapos kailangan pa nila gawin ng isang battery pull replacement. You're gonna worry about that parang mix of emotions. Ganda na auto mo pero paglabas mo dyan, pag roll nyo mo outside second skin, you gotta find a place to get all of that fixed, right? But no, 
second skin's like, ayan yung mga sira, Zach, pero don't worry, kami na bahala, we have a tie up with another company, we'll sort this out for you. That's a load off my head. I appreciate them for doing this. Normally, this is not part of their service, right? It's not part of their menu. But that, that's just how they take care of their clients and, and they're willing to take the extra step for us. While all of that was going on, isang kaibigan natin sa RJ Auto Development, he's the guy who's been maintaining my Pajero. Napakabait din, napaka straight up. He's the go-to guy naman sa pag-ayos sa mga dead pixels na to ng LED sa mga exotic cars. Tinitira niya mga BMWs, Porsches, Ferraris, kahit ano kaya gawin. So he did this as well and it took him about two days. He sorted that out. Cost was about 10,500 pesos. Okay, so we're almost done here. Gulong na pinag-uusapan natin dito. So this is where I was thinking, naka-Vorsteiner bags tayo, naka-Porsche tayo. Hindi naman ako magta-truck linggo-linggo. Gagamitin lang naman natin to every weekend, porma, you know, that stuff. Is it worth it to go for the really high-performing branded tires? Sa akin, naka-Porsche tayo, oo. <laughs> diba? We went for Yokohama Advance. In fact, they recently had an event track day sila, lahat sila naka Yokohama doon, and that's the kind of culture that I was looking for especially dito sa Pilipinas, sino yung tire brand dito na masipag sa ganyan, na laging lumalabas, performance, performance performance, Yokohama is coming out really active and very engaging in this aspect, so I called them up and yung narekomenda po nila is the Advanced Sport V107, so essentially yung bragging rights mo dito is it's got its ultra micro silica compound, so maganda ang grip po nito, yung threads niya is all also asymmetrical which helps in the grip so wet or dry basically they're saying okay grip ito so in high speeds naman we're looking at very good stability as well improved yung contour profile niya so maximize yung contact patch niya this design also evens out the pressure sa daan so pag even yung pressure mo sa daan lapat na lapat ka you're, you're, you're much more stable in high speeds meron din siyang Ryan Matrix body ply so Solid yung center ribs niya. So very responsive ito sa handling. You'll have more precision sa steering niya and sa cornering. Kung meron ka mga squishy tire, parang, parang yung buong auto hindi sumusunod, di ba? Pero pag kapit yung gulong mo, konting kilos mo lang ganon, you'll feel the response in terms of how it is reacting when you're turning in relation to your steering wheel. So isa pa napansin ko, personally, when I rolled out of second skin and used the car for the first time, it's a lot quieter, mas tahimik siya, which kind of helps considering you're in a sports car too, di ba? So did I have any issues with the tires? Um, only sa fitting niya. Kasi ang problema, yung Vorsteiner mags natin, it's not stock size. 19s din siya, pero mas malapad. So we had to figure out ano ba yung lalagay natin Dyan. Sa likod, walang problema. They put thicker tires. Walang sabit, walang nating salpak gamit. No problem. Yung harap ako nag-issue. Kasi, ang ideal niyan would be 2353519s. Yun, sakto na wala ka ng gagawin. So, ang nilagay nila was 24535. Nagkaroon tayo ng konting sabit sa may shocks. Ang solution dyan would be spacer. Now, tama ba na nilagay ko 245 versus 235? Unang-una, walang stock ng 235 at the moment and medyo naatat na ako. Ang trade-off naman dyan sa 245, yes, may sabit ka pero pag mag-spacer ka naman, you are now rolling with thicker tires. So, sa utak ko, mas safe yung mags ko sa kayod here and there. I just got more rubber going on. I have more space with the mags and the road. So, for me, in my head, ko-compromise ko na na may spacer tayo pero mas makapalaman yung gulong. Plus, yung, yung luwa niya, as in, minimal lang naman. Taba, millimeters. Two millimeters? Mga ganun? Apart from that, you know, these are pretty good tires and I'm very, very happy with it. So, ang cost ng gulong is 64,360 sa likod. Sa harap naman, ang cost niya ay 53,420 for a total of 117,780. Plus, yung spacer natin, tsaka yung bolts, total naman nun is 8,000 pesos. Tapos, meron tayong mga balancing, balancing was about um, 2,000 bucks mga tinga and all of that. So, yun cost natin with the with the wheels shyness is nice and shyness can stop you from doing all the things in life you'd like to This is nice and shyness can stop you from doing all the things in life you'd like to. So if there's something you'd like to try, if there's something you'd like to try, ask me, I won't say no. How could I? Coyness is nice and coyness can stop you from doing life you'd like to so if there's something you'd like to try if 
be something you'd like to try Ask me, I won't say no How could I? Spending warm summer days indoors Writing frightening birds The Porsche Cayman S987 So is this still a good buy? Is this a car you should be looking into if you're gonna be gunning for a Porsche? Of course, the Cayman series, it's always gonna be in the shadow of the 911. If you can gun for the 911, syempre dun tayo. Mas lala na pag makakita ka ng 911 na uh, classic na manual, yun na yun. I mean, that's that's the ending car that, you know, I wanna have, you know? Pero, yun nga, patience is a virtue. Konting hanap dito, hanap dun, tanong dito, ba? And we'll see. But apart from that, I think the Cayman S987 is a, is a great buy. Why? Because if you look at it, it's still a modern looking Porsche without getting into the classic line. Diba? Para sa akin kasi may border na pag nakita mo, ah, ito classic na siya. Which is also great. But I was going for something that's a bit more modern looking. But at the same time, meron siyang pagka classic na pagka brusco ng Porsche na of old. You know what I mean? It's, it's like that middle line. And I, I feel that the Cayman S has that. I think it can hold its value Matibay din naman siya, pero yung talo ng presyo niya, it's not the same as the 911. The, the 911 just keeps on going up and up and up and up. Cayman S tumataas din siya, but not as fast. Pero tumataas, which is a good thing. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Makina Auto Setups. Kung meron kayong request na auto na gusto natin iset up, let me know. Just message the page. I'm looking at some Japanese cars next. Request kayo, di ba? Parang, oh, Zach, set up in mo to, di ba? Let's see what we can do with that. If there are also cars out there na na set up na, you want us to feature it in Makina Auto Setups, do let us know. I mean, I want to share that story as well. So again, maraming maraming salamat. This is Zach, Makina Auto. Ciao!